Here's some answers to the you try some problems. The chromium Roman numeral three sulfite. Chromium Roman numeral three, the Roman numeral tells you the charge. So it wants chromium with a positive three charge. Sulfite, anything that ends in eight or ite, you're gonna find on that ion sheet. Be careful with eights and ites because they sound very similar. They look very similar but they have different number of oxygens typically. So sulfite is SO3, sulfate is SO4. Just be careful, make sure you're reading um, carefully. Pay attention to those details. Then we'd have to balance out the charges, put the sulfite in parentheses so it doesn't look like 33 oxygens. The one below it, aluminum fluoride. Aluminum, we could tell what the charge of aluminum would be just by looking at the periodic table. Um, because aluminum is right here in that positive three column. So aluminum is going to be a positive three every time. And fluoride sounds an awful lot like fluorine, but with a, a charge. It's an ion form, negative one, also from the periodic table. That barium hydroxide, barium from the periodic table, we could determine has a charge of positive two. And hydroxide kind of sounds a little bit like hydrogen and a little bit like oxygen. And the reason why that is, is because there's an ion called hydroxide. It's right here. Hydroxide, OH, with a negative one charge. We have to put that hydroxide in parentheses. Be careful, a lot of people forget those parentheses here because it doesn't look like a 33 or a 42, but we need them there. Without it, if we just wrote it like this, that would mean one barium, one oxygen, two hydrogens. That's not what we want. We want two hydroxide ions to balance out our barium ion. Last one, copper Roman numeral two iodide. The Roman numeral tells you the charge. Iodide's charge we can get from the periodic table because iodide is iodine in ion form. So instead of 53 electrons, it's got 54, a charge of negative 1. When you put copper plus 2 with iodide minus 1, we would need two iodide ions to balance out our charges.